Are you doing what is required to get you where you want to go in life? Or are you doing what is required in the moment when no one's watching? You know, I know a lot of people that want to change their life. They want to do great things. They want to impact the world. But one of the things that you notice about these people a lot of the times is that they'll do what it is they feel is required to be done, but they will only do it in silence. They, won't, they will only do it when no one else is listening, when no one else is, is watching. Um, and and I, I used to be that way, so I understand. Uh, and it's, there's nothing wrong with it. But, there, but you, you have to be able to do what it is you do, no matter who is there, no matter what is around. You know, Marshall Gillen, taught me recently in his uh, 30 days to get paid speaking gigs course that the, the, this Facebook Live is just another TV station. This, is, this platform is just another place to share your message with the world. Kevin, Devin, or no, not Kevin, uh, Khalid, Devin, and Mary, thank you for joining this morning. But these people I see uh, out there, that they're, they're hustling hard, they they're, they're want to impact the world, they want to make a difference. But they only go live when no one else is around. They, they, only are, they only feel like they can inspire people when no one else is listening. So don't allow the words of your peers, the judgment of those that are watching, to deter you from doing what you feel that it is that you need to do. You know, I, I had a long, long talk with Zig Ziglar's daughter yesterday. Um, we, we talked for probably around two hours. They recently had a loss in the family. They lost their, they lost their mother. So rest in peace. But it reinforced my thought on the fact that we don't have a lot of time. Our time is finite here. And if we spend our time only investing it at our full potential when no one else is watching, then we're wasting more than half of our life hiding whenever people are watching. I used to be that person that couldn't go live if other people were around. I couldn't be that inspiration that I, I wanted to be because the people that were watching, I knew they were judging me. I knew that people, I knew that the, the people I worked around, if they heard me sharing my message and inspiring people the way that I do, then they would laugh at me. Um, the, the town where I, I, I went to school in I know people that are there right now that want to impact the world. They want to do great things. But they're scared to go live. They're scared to share their message because they're scared of what others are going to say. Well, let me reinforce that fear for you. They're going to say all kinds of stuff. They're going to laugh. They're gonna tell you that you're worthless. They're gonna tell you that what you're doing is a joke. My own family has laughed at me for sharing my motivation, for inspiring people, for getting on here and, and telling people that the life you have is not the life you have to live. You know, many times we allow our peers to cause us to become actors to become liars. 
and hey, Rich, everybody, thank you for joining. Chris, Devin, I appreciate all y'all for watching. I hope that y'all can take a little bit of value from today's message. You know, I, I, I see people all the time who have a dream, they have a purpose, they have something that the world needs to hear. They have something that they want to build, but they know that when they begin building it, that the people that are in their inner circle are going to laugh at them. They're going to shun them from the group because that person's weird. And I want you to embrace that fear and understand that when people are saying those kinds of things, when people are saying that person's weird, like I can't, I, 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 why, why would he go live every day and, and get out here and just ramble and, and, and say what's on his heart? Who cares what he's got to say? Who, who cares? But you know what? There's one person out there who cares enough to listen. And more, and more than that, there is at least one person out here that not only cares to listen, but needs to hear what it is that you have to say. And I think that more times than not, the people who are destined to do the greatest things in this world and impact the most people in this world are often left in the darkness because they were scared of a spark. And when I say a spark, I mean that little glimmer, that little shine that happens whenever a person finds a message that they know is worth sharing, something of an, an, a piece of information that bears value, capable of improving the lives of others, and then that, that's that little spark in their darkness. And then all of a sudden, the, their peers and the people around them, they start laughing, and that spark gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer until it's allowed to die. And my message to you is, is to allow that spark to ignite a fire. Because, look, the flames of change, they lick everything and they, they, they spread like a wildfire. Once you, see it, once you see that all it takes is blowing on that coal, blowing on that spark a little bit, to ignite those flames, to ignite the fire that's required in your soul to truly act on what it is that you know you were here, you were put here to do. Everyone has a message. Everybody has a purpose, but you only have 86,400 seconds in each day to share that message with someone. I go live nearly every day not because I feel that I'm some special person that, that you should take the time out of your day to listen to, not so that people will say, go, man, look what he's doing, look at all that he's accomplished, look how far he's come, it's not about any of that. I get on here and I go live because I know that one day I'm not gonna be here anymore. And if I don't dump what's in my head out and share it with you now, someday I won't be able to. I won't have anything, I won't have any time left. And, and you know, uh, Kyle, Kyle says 86,400 seconds in a day only takes one to smile and make a difference. Absolutely. And that's why I tell people, man, go live. Like, don't be scared. The people that you hang out with or, and associate with, they're gonna make fun of you. They're gonna laugh. But here's how it works. At first they laugh, and then they watch. And then eventually they ask you how you do it. <laughs> it seems cliche, but that's how it works. I don't have all the time in the world. One day I'm gonna die. And all I hope is that one, is when that day comes, someone comes back and watches this video and it maybe ignites their spark, just a little, to get them to share their message. 
the way that I'm here sharing mine. <laughs> Our time is limited. But your reach is not. Your impact is limitless. If you're only willing to do what others are not willing to do for a short period of time, you can live like no one else is able to for the rest of your life. And I go live every day because I know that the day will come when I'm not here anymore and people will be able to come back and maybe connect with me one more time to, to show, let, to let me show my love to them just one last time. <laughs> and you can watch this every day and I'll always be here with everyone. And that's why you should go live. People talk about leaving a legacy. People talk about doing great things and impacting the world, but are you recording it? Are you giving it to people so that for years to come, they can hear your message? I, I, that's, what I, that's what I want for people. I, I want people to understand that that going live on Facebook and, and doing these things where you're reaching out to the public and you're, 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 you're trying to impact the lives of people, you have to realize that what you're doing is not just a short-term investment. When you go live, when you send, when you put your message out on social media and people can see your face, you're leaving a legacy. You're leaving something behind that is going to impact people for years to come. The question is, are you going to take today to take action and leave your legacy? Or are you gonna wait till you're possibly not here anymore tomorrow to attempt to leave your message? So go live. Post a video. Make that phone call that you know you need to make to impact somebody in some way today and, and for tomorrow. And don't be afraid of what it is, of, of what other people are gonna say because here's the thing, they're gonna say a lot. <laughs> That's just how it is. But if they weren't saying anything, it would be a reflection of you not doing anything. So I hope that this resonates with you. And I hope you really understand that your time is finite, it is limited. And I want you, I want each and every one of you to understand that to its core because it's more than just a statement. You hear people all the time say, you don't have all the time in the world. But how often do you actually listen to that and, and take action because of that? You have, a, you have a message that needs to be shared. You have a business that you want to build. You have something that you want to do in your heart that will impact everyone around you. It will change the lives of others. That's why I go live. That's why I'm here. That's why I share my message. Because someday, we won't be here anymore. But even whenever I'm gone, people will be able to come here and listen once more to my message to the world. And to hear me say that I, I love you and I'm still here even when I'm gone. And I'll always be looking over each and every person in my, that, that it was there in my life. And I'll always, always have love for each and every person who ever connected with me. Because there, there's a purpose. My purpose goes beyond my age. Because age is finite. But impact is not. 
What you do here today will be remembered for the rest of your life. What you leave on Facebook, what you leave live, is going to be seen for years to come. Because you know something, when someone passes on and they go to the next world, what you see on their Facebook page is people constantly posting about, about how we miss you and rest in peace and we love you. And for years to come, you can go back to their Facebook and you can see those condolences. But most importantly, you can see the messages they left behind the days before they passed. So leave your message because your days are numbered and you never know when that time is going to come. So do me a favor today. Even if you're not live, if you're scared to go live, I would suggest that you get over your fear and just do it. But do me a favor today and, and go out and bless somebody. Give somebody a compliment. Smile at someone in passing. Tell someone that they're beautiful. Tell somebody that they're, they're worth it and that they are valuable to you. Be the blessing for others, and you will live within blessings. And don't forget to join me at 10 a.m. for episode number 13, I believe it is, of Stay Humble, Hustle Hard Live. Thank you all so very much. Be blessed.